to the Danganronpa Co-op! How do I get out of the menu? One second! You just escape. Yay! Welcome back to Danganronpa Co-op! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, play the intro one more time, please. <laughs> Welcome back to the Danganronpa Co-op! I'm Chris the Color. And I'm Lizzie Nobo. I didn't say... And that's Hero. I didn't say to say it yet. I was gonna choose this is Lizzie Nobo. Start the intro again! Ready. Yes. Welcome back to the Danganronpa Co-op. I'm Chris and Color. This is Lizzie Nopo. Hi. And, uh... And, uh and da damn it! <laughs> Start the episode over! Hi, <laughs> welcome back to the Danganronpa Co-op. <laughs> oh, Lizzie Nopo is here. Yuki is gonna be fucking dead by the time we can finish this intro. <laughs> she nice book out of turn. Play the intro again! Hi, welcome back to the Danganronpa Co-op. I'm Chris and Color. This is Lizzie Nopo. Last time on Take a Rapa Co op, which is on this channel, you can go check it out. <laughs> Miyaki is missing, we gotta go find him. Leave the area. <laughs> leave leave this existence. Oh man. I was gonna say he's he's Hyro, but no, he's Byro now. Hyro Lander. I know you wanna go in the bathhouse. Let's go! Bath! Like I s oh! Hello! Hi! Are you over here fucking up intros? How's it going? You find them? Mm, that, no. That's also you. <laughs> I keep Try the episode over! <laughs> Welcome back to the Dagoromp Co-op! Hey, come on! Shit, man, where the hell did he go? He's got his head stuck so far up his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? Well, that's clearly where he went. Check up his ass. Yeah. We just gotta find his ass first. I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. So what about you? You taking a bath too? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you need a loofah? I'm your man. <laughs> <He> just, <I'm> just... <laughs> no! Here, use this. Stick with the popcorn! <laughs> so what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Why is everyone in this <laughs> school worried about my bathing habits? Like, are we? Hell yeah. <laughs> Me too, bro. <laughs> come on, come on over anytime you want a morning bath. <laughs> We can't focus this episode. Oh, man. What were you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Continue reading, because I will... I, I... Oh, my God! I just realized it's the, the dialogue. After spending all night right in your hog, wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning... <laughs> Fucking freezing! <laughs> I know I clipped the audio, but... God damn it, Mondo. What How dare you clip the audio? I would never do that. Play the intro again! Welcome back to Danganronpa Co-op! Oh, anyways. The hot water loosens you up and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Okay, so we know Mondo's a bottom now. <laughs> I can't be a top anymore. Last last girl I was with... Uh, she tried to use my hair as a dildo. <laughs> I was where I was going with this. Well, listen, when I go down on a girl, the mouth's not the first thing that gets there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this episode's going to shit. It's just your thing. I'll have to take your word for all of that. I feel like we could have predicted everything that we just said. <laughs> this is a disaster of a let's play. <sighs> play the intro one more time. Welcome back. What, you don't know what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. He's a, he's a tsundere, for sure. I feel like in an alternate universe, he's a tsundere. I thought yeah. I like you in your thing. Guys, yeah. gotta, guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time. You'll see. Okay. Just play the next one. I don't want to think of yeah, that one for too long. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? <laughs> I'm so glad we got to this part. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Christ. Do you have anything else to say? Hey, you're back! <laughs> well, he's not here. I better go look somewhere else. Good idea. As he remains Oops. right fucking I here. I forget it's the R button to leave oh. the area. Okay, so my glasses actually started fogging up. <laughs> it must have been the bathhouse, nothing else. Skipping this PC, it's boring low. Please subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching Danganronpa. Coop. Alright, what's up, she has, she has a sassy pose. She is. I... 
You'll see why later on, for like definitively, but I just, I love Kyoko. <laughs> so you thought to come here too? Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? Well, that kind of tells you where he is, huh? Huh? What was it that Byakuya was interested in again? Lizzie knows! Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, do you want me to tell you? Uh, Let's talk yeah. to Chihiro, but... Let's find her. But he's in the library. Anyone hiding in here? No. You just want to look at the cool bathroom again. Yeah. Honestly, like, I just needed some time to fucking process this... <laughs> creation. Uh. What do you think about Danganronpa so far? Are you enjoying it? Yeah! Like... Chihiro! Okay. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, hey, Makoto. So? Did you find Byakuya? Enough of the pleasantries. No, I didn't see him anywhere. Makoto, you made, him, you made her cry. Good job, Makoto. Mm, I see. What? Somehow, Kyoko figured out where he might be. Huh? You know? Kyoko's so amazing. Ooh! Anyone who... Chihiro stands is a stan of ours. She's so cool. She's smart, and she seems really tough. She's definitely smart, that's for sure. But tough? I don't know. I feel like I can take her. <laughs> Compared to, say, Sakura or even Hina, she doesn't seem all that different from Chihiro. Wow! Makoto? Women are tough. Women are the best. Stop yeah. that. Is it weird to compare them like that? Yes! It is very weird to compare them like that. As well, how you compare them. Definitely. That's just... Tough doesn't mean strong. Okay? Yeah. Man. Chihiro, you better not be crushing on Kyoko. You're supposed to be with Mondo. <laughs> In my head cannon. She's like, what? Alright, well, library time. I don't think there's anybody else on the second floor, so you just go straight to the library. Yeet. Yeet those question marks at the door. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Byakuya! Oh god, he, is he going to be dead? Okay, of no. all things I imagined, this was definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I should put on my headphones. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're speaking now. Mm -hmm. I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no. What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Taka, like very loudly, he said to do it. He's in love with you, you idiot. Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? No, because if you just disappear like that, everyone's gonna think you murdered somebody. Yeah. Or have or, been murdered. Or yeah, or was murdered yourself. Biaki okay, snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Biakia! So this is where you've been hiding! The heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well, what were you reading? A mystery novel. It was Danganronpa, the manga. <laughs> Dangan manga. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? Don't be stupid. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah! What? <laughs> if I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? Okay, but people can just read the same book unless you destroy the book afterwards. Right. Or they throw it in the uh, incinerator downstairs. It's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. Kind of a good point, actually. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure everything is... Blah, blah, blah. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> oh god, this man is one of those rich people that hunts people for sport. His words sent a chill down my spine. 
There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. Do not ever impersonate me ever again. Sorry. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Remember how I said there's a few people that would be serial killers? He's one of them. What the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. But it is a game. He did it, they'll start looking at you. You're playing a game right now. It's a game of life or death. I forgot to read it. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It is a zero sum game. Huh? It is a part of game theory. A game theory! Shut up, MatPat. Oh. <laughs> a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through, what going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually... Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else, someone else must fail. This also applies to school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So, in other words... so this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That... That can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> then what would they have had in mind, Makoto? <laughs> yeah, you tell me. You <laughs> fucking tell me. This is why ad adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. I haven't smiled like this in years. They're gonna be accomplices. I know th th there's no reward for an accomplice, but th I feel like they're... I ship these two now. These two are a serial killer couple. <laughs> That's a good ship. In all honesty, I like it. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. Nothing mysterious about that smile. It twisted his face into something not human. Yeah, look at those all those forehead wrinkles. I know, right? It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still can't believe it. It looks like he's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> 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 Believe what? That an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't admit it, M Mondo! Let's pause real quick. <sighs> I'm gonna bring something up real quick. Concerning yeah. Mondo and the Danganronpa anime. So, remember all the way back in episode one? Yeah. Where I gave him, the first voice I gave him was like, like a like a deep south redneck. The hell! Now not no time for friggin' introductions. Here's the thing about the anime. Um, Please don't say that was the actual voice. That's the actual voice of him in the. Oh no! Just, it's one of those voices that where the it's of the dub of the anime. I should specify. And for the most part, I like the dub of the anime. It's like they have they actually give uh, voices that really fit the characters. But Mondo's? I'm gonna fucking kill you! It's Dear God. Why, why did they do that to my boy? I'm gonna actually open this episode up with a reaction. I want I want you to uh, hear Mondo's voice in the anime. Like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny, and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life-and-death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakuya? At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it, wonderful? it is because I am the same as you, 
Games are meant to be one. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? No. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... is... That's horrific. Friends? Who decided that? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... You're too poor for opinions. Come on. Yes? If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. This man needs to die. Make her cry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Byakuya! Byakuya and Takami needs to die. Mondo! Mondo, step in with your hair! No! <laughs> hey, shithead, I'm gonna stab you with my hair! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? Is that what gets your hog going? You wanna try that on me? Please? Ah, uh, he's coming to Chihiro's defense. My ship! Hey, shithead. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? Hmm. So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? They're lovers, though. Hey, fuck you! What? Uh, please? <laughs> 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 Is that all you can say? I said please. Do You want me to throw in a daddy? I can do that. I mean... <laughs> Uh, God damn it. It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch. That's it. You're fucking fucked. Dead. <laughs> dead. I said dead, guys. Just a second. Hold on. Just calm down. Piece of shit. I am <laughs> calm. I, that's always the funny shit to me is when a character says, I, I am calm. Oh, while looking like that? Jesus fucking Christ. That's why I love Mondo so much. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyways, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during the elimination. Lizzie doesn't get that reference. She's never seen Finding Nemo. I have. Have you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's like one of the only movies that I've actually watched. So Lizzie doesn't watch a lot of uh, Disney movies. So I just like to give her crap for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, if it's made past, like, 2005, I probably haven't seen it. Hmm. Okay, good. Fair enough. To cooperate during an elimination... Oh my goodness! <laughs> to cooperate during an elimination game is... To be fair, it says elimination. Elimination. <laughs> okay. Well, frankly, it's a waste of time. Like, the last 30 seconds. <laughs> and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time. Waste of time. Engaging in friendly groups, group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Very bold of you to assume you'd be dying with Jesus. Right. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. The Bible was made into a movie, right? <clears throat> Line. Ah, <laughs> oh, that, that's a joke we haven't made since, like, episode five. Yeah. Hey, I have a question about rewrites. The Bible... Was that a movie? Are they hiring? I need a part. This, <laughs> all I'm saying is that, ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. And he's already gone. Without a second glance, Byakia left. He turned his back, Byakia, to us. There wasn't anything we could <laughs> do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with well, fuck him, then. I'm just gonna check on him and see how he's doing. Jesus Christ, he says fuck so much. <laughs> I wonder what's on his mind constantly. Other than his hair. Hogs! 
towards what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Uh, hey, come on, you too, Toko! Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone care even if I was gone, right? Actually, I bet you all love me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. No one has fucking said that, Toko! Not a single soul. None of us think that. You just don't... You just think you don't think that. What the fuck kind of logic, Toko? There's too much thinking, bro! <sighs> I know some people like you... Oh, sorry. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. Yeah. Just... You think I don't know, but you... You want me gone! I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait! <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Things are tense and hopes peak. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions or eating any breakfast. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Starving. <laughs> Well, they opened the warehouse, every, so they can get some food there. Everyone died of starvation. The end. Dangarampa over. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Short game. Man. Imagine that's how that's all ends. It just took three people to die, and everyone else just off from starvation. God. That would, that would be a terrible ending. <laughs> Mono's like, I can't say it. Or I can't explain why, but I really want pork. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second to get it, but yeah, no, it's a, I didn't think I would land. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even one day off. The music's here, which means it's time for getting myself going. Free time! Yeah! Let's go. Let's see who we... Um, okay. Well, no. We... Let's go talk to somebody. We have time for one free time this episode. Okay. Uh... So... What, what is the button to open the menu? So, F1. Uh, yeah, map. But where's what I'm thinking, though? Let's go back real quick. Yeah, you got Dining Hall with Celeste. Toko's in her room. If a character's in their room, they're not available for a free time event. So it doesn't make sense we go there. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go to, let's see, second floor? No one's on the second floor. Jesus Christ, where is everyone? Maybe we can go and see people on the second floor. But let me check. Uh, let's look at a report card. So I know for a fact we've talked to Taka and Sakura. Do you want to continue talking to them, or do you want to find someone new? Honestly, I'd like I'd like to talk to either Mondo or Chihiro more. Okay. Let's see if they're around. We'll cut when uh we'll cut this out, and we're gonna go see if we can find somebody. We'll be right back. Mondo, it's time to view hogs. <laughs> to do hogs. <laughs> to view hogs. Oh. <laughs> Mondo. God damn you, Mondo. Maybe he's in his room doing his hog right now. Are you in the locker? Lockers. One of them is unlocked. So would it be called an unlocker? But I don't see anything inside. Get All right, we're going to cut. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, I think when you look on the map, you only see two people. That's Celeste in a dining hall and Toko in her room. Uh, we can't find anybody else, and we tried knocking on other doors to see if anyone would else come, come out. So, we're just going to talk to those two, see what happens. E. I guess I just press the doorbell. Ding dong! Oh. What's your problem? What do you want? Hmm. Should I hang out with Toko for a while? Yay. Let's do it. You want to spend time with me? I guess so. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're planning, but do whatever you want. Well, this requires consent from you too, Toko. Yeah. I spent some time with Toko, with her consent, of course. Oh, Jesus. Toko and I I've... grew a little closer today. <clears throat> I think we got a little too much consent from her. <laughs> Would I give Toko a present? Do She'll get one. I, from that look, we'll get one in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what gifts we got. It's been a while since we went to the mono theater. Or the mono thing. Okay. Um, I should have had a walkthrough open for this. So, certain people like certain gifts. I would assume that was for Sakura. Yes. I think that's... I think all we have is... Uh, yeah, we don't have a lot, because we haven't gone to the mono theater. 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna give her question marks. A jewel treasure by Angel Super Race. Even the devil has friends, you fool. And then, tears flow. Do we have anything else? I think we may have gotten, like, a gift. Or, like, something from... A post kid prologue from the Claire Chapter 1. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's look at this. Leon's bat. Uh, proof that you cleared Chapter 1. The name really doesn't sound pleasant. It creates a foreboding sense that something very bad has begun. So that's the flavor text from Leon's bat. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we have. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, I, I'm... We'll come back and get more gifts later. I'm sure. Yeah. Why would you take away the gift that you were going to give me? I really wanted that shitty black croissant. <laughs> I like her food. She's just standing there. Menacingly. Does she want something? I really want to... I really wanted that black croissant. But she's not saying anything. <laughs> Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Uh, uh Toko? What? What, you want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already! Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, what do you like to do in your spare time? Why you I O? Lady! So what small talk is? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. <laughs> what, what did you just say? Uh... After that part about being trapped, are you gonna be what? Okay, so being trapped isn't the part she's concerned no, about. No, yeah. Uh, friends. How dare you! <laughs> oh. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. I need to stop misreading shit. I've already made her once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt. What happened? You have to say things out loud, Makoto. Anyway. Come on, you don't really care about me. No, I don't. I would have rather talked to Mondo or Chihiro. <laughs> oh. You know I know about me. Even I know that. No, 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 that's not true. What the heck? Fine, you tell me. Tell you what? You know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You all, you've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Yeah, tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my gardener specialty is. If you, oh. If you really want to convince me that you give a crap, you at least know that. Genre that the ultimate writing project specializes in. Okay, wasn't it romance? It was romance. Cause she said she, she said she doesn't like young adult, and nonfiction is not. I, I really haven't heard her talk or. She hasn't really mentioned it, but I remember, yeah. like, her grand thing was, oh, she wrote romance novel about fish fishermen. And the fishermen uh, jumped up to, the, like, the hottest men pole or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's romance, of course, and we got the good sound. Yeah. So, yay. Oh, you actually knew? Yeah. Your biggest success was Soul Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of all-time hottest men poles. Right? I didn't just read that in a fever dream, right? That that happened? How did you know all of that? There's no way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. You're, you're already where... <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Togo! <laughs> and with that, she turned around and ran, but ran straight into her door. <laughs> Like she said she was blinded, but she wears glasses. Toka ran off, screaming like a banshee. <laughs> yeah, that's how I described that sound I made. Yeah? I'm not really sure. D does she hate me now? Did I do right? And then she just fucking comes back and kisses Makoto and then runs back. That no, yeah, I take it back. Mono not the Sundere, Toko is. <laughs> Alright, Toko's record card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just lost a skill vocabulary. Maybe we could speak uh, properly now. We could read a sentence without fucking it up. No. Okay. Give yourself a pat on the back. You earned it. Y yes, I mean, no. I can't pat myself on the back. I got you, King. Eh, it hurts. <laughs> All right, let's go. 
Excellent. Okay. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Do we have more free time? You said I like Toko. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I didn't. I think I got locked into the voice for a second. There's still plenty of time left, so not for this episode, though, because we're all done. So go ahead and, uh... We can't just sit around here, so we should head out of this episode. Yes. And head over to... to wait, this is Your channel! Head over to Lizzie Nopo's channel, where episode 18 will be. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this. On both of our channels. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Lizzie wants to say something. Well, I... Even though I locked my vocabulary, I can't speak a sentence without fucking it up still, so... <laughs> yeah, go... So, subscribe! <laughs> Bye! Oh, I hit myself in the head. <laughs> go! Go! Play the intro again! We're messed up! Welcome back to the Danganronpa Co-op! <laughs>